All right, walk me through it one more time. Well, it's simple. A foreign businessman named Ivan Jewell briefly stopped downtown in transit on one of his monthly holidays. Now, this guy is loaded. He just buys houses to stay in while he's away and always carries 60 grand cuffed to his wrist. Oh, now I'm listening. Now, here's the deal. This guy is practically nocturnal, so we'll have to hit him at his house during the day to catch him sleeping. What about security? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is Gavin, my friend and hacker. Oh, uh, I'm not a hacker, I'm more of a computer hacker. architect. Alright, so here's the plan. Ricky and I will head down the front, while Gavin goes around the back to gain access to the system. Once you're in, you'll have five minutes to get the case and get out. So we enter at 12.35 sharp, when the guards are on lunch break. Once we're inside, we'll sneak past the guards, and then we'll locate his room upstairs. Enter his room while he's sleeping, get the case, and get out. Good job. That was very convincing. That's what I do best. Come on, let's go. What do you think you're doing? It doesn't have to be two of us. You fool! You thought you could betray me? I'm the king of betrayals! If you're listening to this, congratulations, you stole the wrong case. I had a feeling for a while that you weren't to be trusted. Truth is, we stole the real case days ago. Then, we went back again to replace it with a fake one. Gavin triggered the alarm and you ran, betraying us. I'm sorry brother, but you flew too close to the sun. <laughs> 